Ah, yes, yes. I think this is maybe the first car in Africa that you've seen that is fully electric. <laughs> so it's a good experience for us. A 38 day challenge for the Venturi electric vehicle, a two wheel drive vehicle faced with extraordinary conditions compared to its more usual habitat of towns in Europe. 38 days to test its reliability, its sturdiness, and its endurance. 38 days during which the technology was put through its paces so it can be refined and improved. Energy is one of the big challenges for us of this century. Actually, it's not only a challenge, it has become a necessity, uh, Venturi Global Challenges, throughout the world to prove that electric transportation is not a marginal concept, but a real solution for sustainable development and a clean way. Every evening, Xavier, the driver, has to find power to do some tests and make connections to recharge the three batteries. They give him a range of 500 kilometers. A mistake could damage the systems. The color coding of the cables are not always the same. The power voltage also varies from 140 to 380 volts, whereas the car works best with 240 volts. In Monaco, the car's behaviour is analysed on a daily basis by two engineers. The data is sent via computers and allows them to see how the electric technology reacts to the conditions it experiences. Shocks, violent rainfall, humidity, dust and different voltages. All of them potentially hazardous for the car. By completing this journey, after the Shanghai to Paris trip in 2010, Venturi demonstrated that electrical vehicles offer an alternative to the combustion engine everywhere in the world. This is an important piece of information just before the Rio summit, especially during the International Year of Renewable Energy for All, the principle of which is to give access to clean energy to enhance social and economic development.